Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to do the sharting functionality using Apex class. Okay. Uh, we already have the sharting functionality using LWC sharting or Vapor class sharting. So the Vapor class, we can use the Apex. Apex. Using the Vapor class, we can able to use the sharting using compare to method. Okay. You can search it uh, using compare to method we can able to do the sharting so we need to declare one interface using that we can able to do that wrapper class means but without wrapper class how we can able to do the sharting okay so it's a simple easiest way only so uh, so if we i'm going to explain that functionality you for you okay so if you are okay with that you can use your newer code logic okay so okay now i'm going to do the i'm going to develop a console I'm clicking the new Apex class. Apex, I'm going to give the name as Apex Shorting. This is Apex class name I'm giving. Okay, though now one Apex class has been created for us. Now I'm going to create one method. Uh, probably wide short method. okay so now i'm going to do the query for three different list record okay based on the some um account id okay list of account what i'm going to do i'm going to get some fields for the account object Account, account, yeah, account object. Not account object. We can need to get using the contact. So we are going to contact object. Uh, ID, last name, first name, name, account ID. What else? Uh, email, department, got a date, description, create a date. Yeah, contract. Yeah, that's fine. I think these are the fields is enough. List ECC. Uh -huh. List contact one. Where account ID. Account ID equal to. So I'm, I have three different account IDs basically. Okay. This is one of the account ID. Okay, so here the credit rate is 2020. So now I have similarly, I have some other um, created date. I can query that. Here you can see them some different. 2022, 9, 8, 9, 14. So I have another one, account ID. Okay, 2023, 2023. So now we need to uh, get do the sharting based on the created date. Okay, I have three uh, different uh, three different contacts list we have. I have okay three different list. So all the contact record I need to do based on the created date. Created date. Okay. So just I will show you that now. I have the first list. Okay. Similarly, I'm going to do for the next list, second list, second list, and third list. And I need to pass second third i have three different diff uh, list record i have so now i'm going to do the uh, pass the different different account id okay so if i execute this query i will get three different type of list record i will get okay so now what I need to do, I need to do the sharting record, sharting the record based on the uh, created date field. 
okay so for that what we need to do we need to create one on set method we need to create yes um contact ids name i'm giving so you we can give any name i'm giving contact ids equal to new of set of id okay now i'm going to iterate the this list first list cyn cyn1 okay yes dot add c1 dot id this id uh, similarly i need to do for the other two also and for this one also so this name if you want we can change it otherwise we can leave it this so i'm i'm changing this one okay third okay so now we got a uh, all unique id we got now here okay in the set we have store why we are using set means it won't allow the duplicate that's why we are using the set trick set here okay so now what we need to do now we got all unique ids we got now basically okay in this variable okay this is one of the set of id variable so in this one it will be stored all the contact id records will be stored here contact id will be stored here so using this id what we need to do we need to query record from the contact object okay so i am going to list of again we need to do the query contact a list contact something so instead of that account id what we need to do we need to put var id in this id okay and one more thing here what we need to do here only we are going to do the shorting like order by date, date ascending or descending we can give anything so if you do here you can see we have three different queries with a different different created date okay it may be it will be mixed okay like uh, 2020 2021 2023 so 2021 so this kind of different different created it will be there but if we got a unique contact ids we got now here okay so using this contact id we are going to do the query with the created date descending so descending means like a descending order it will become so if we put ascending then ascending order it will, it will become okay so now i'm going to run this let's see it System dot debug. Okay, let's save this. So I'm going to execute this. Shorting yes equal to new. I'm going to create. I'm creating the object for this. Yes dot and method name. Let's execute this. Okay, so we got uh, some different different values we got. So what I will do, I will be, I will extract this for loop just for the um, viewing purpose. C O N caller. cun dot id plus cun dot create it 
that's it save now you can execute execute Here you can see it. So this is the account uh, contact ID. The record will be printed based on the descending order. So 2023 or 2023 timing you can see. This is the uh, last is created before that. And 2029, uh, 9, 14, 9, 18 and this one. So this is the descending order. So now if you want ascending order, we can use ascending. Okay, this is a simple query functionality only. Okay, I know, so, but uh, you people don't know like uh, if we have multiple list, how to do that logic. So for that only, I have we have we can use this logic. We can get the contact ID, unique contact ID. We can get and you can use that contact ID in the um, bar condition, and you, you can decide whether it's ascending or descending. Okay, now I'm using ascending. Let's see it how it's working. So execute. Here you can see now ascending order it's coming. So first 2021 one. So 2023. So this similarly you can use the sharding functionality in your class also. So we have used this approach. So it's working fine for us. So it's yeah. So we have if you use the wrapper class, the wrapper class we can use the compare to. We need to use. Uh, implement one method called the comparable. So if you use that, you need to just you can use the uh, list dot sharding functionality. That's it. Okay. So list dot short. You can use this logic also. Okay. So but if you want to do some based on some specific fields, okay, then you need to go with this approach. You need to go. Okay. So if anyone have any other different approach for this one, just please put it in the comment. So then everyone will know about this. Okay. Okay, sure. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks for watching the video.